Welcome to the Royal Ball, Cinderella. <laughs> She's Cinderella. Don't let the yellow dress fool you. What you doing, princess? Are you going to dance? You going to practice your dance moves? Um, so today is Thursday, October the 9th, and we still have our Haunted Mansion calendar over here for a Disney World calendar. And the 9th is right here on our week, so we can see where the week is right here, Isabella. They're giving each other kisses. They're not even paying attention to what I'm doing over here. You kissed her on her nose. So this is the week that we're in right here. We're Lovely. On. We've already been through about three or four hairstyles. No. Mommy's on break. Cousin. <laughs> I want a hair band. I want a hair band. Well, come over here. You need to leave it in then. Hey guys, it is Di, so it is Vlogtober 9th. I just put the calendar on the board so I should know this. It is Thursday, and we have kind of a low-key day today, not a lot planned. So we are just hanging out and playing this morning, and I had a, I've got to go to Target at some point today to get things like the girls' go gurt and things like that that we're about out of. Um, so Natalie's just sitting down here playing with the princess castle. <laughs> And Isabella's over there doing spins. So we're just going to play down here for a little while. But very exciting news to start the vlog off with. I am very, very excited that my Disney vacation planning is done. Stick up work in me. I am done planning. Um, I had a couple of dinner reservations, which I was unable to get when I made all of our original dining reservations. And thanks to a planning group that I'm in, I'm in a number of different planning groups. Sometimes people pop up like, I'm getting ready to cancel this reservation, I'm getting ready to cancel that, does anyone want it? Well, that ended up happening last night and someone canceled Cinderella's Royal Table in the Magic Kingdom, which is one of like the premier dining experiences. Someone was canceling that on the last night of our trip, a day we'd already planned on being in Magic Kingdom anyways, because it's the day that Natalie's getting her haircut, her first haircut and the time worked out for us. And it was for four people, so it was just perfect. So we did, like she canceled at the same time that I was online and I got the reservation really quick. With Cinderella's Roller Table, you actually just pay in advance and everything, so it's set, it's booked, we have it. And on the last night of our vacation, we're going to be going to Cinderella's Roller Table. The kids keep coming up right behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and staring at the screen, but I'm very excited. They of course don't have any idea what it means, but So I'm very very excited. We have other character meals planned We also are going to the acre house again, which is the princess lunch in Epcot. We're also doing Tusker house. We're doing um, Cape May Cafe and is there another one that we're doing? No, I guess that's it. And then the Cinderella's Royal Table. I feel like there may be one more. Anyhow, our Disney plans video, when I actually had my itinerary sitting in front of us and that sort of thing, I have that posting on the Sunday. So this video, I think will be posted possibly the day before. So our Disney tri trip plan will be posted mm -hmm. tomorrow. I and basically just talking it. about what we're planning on doing each day. It. It's changed ever so slightly it. because I just got the I Cinderella. It. Um, royal I table reservation it. and also now I coast haircut. it. You what? I coast it. <laughs> she coasted. I Bella started this thing where she like she's like I want to be on camera. I want to be on camera. I want to be on camera. <laughs> but it's like the most random thing ever that she wants to say. I want a different one here. You want a different one here. <laughs> so welcome to our Thursday. <laughs> All right, there you go. You have a different one here. <laughs> Oh, now Cinderella can go play. What's the princess doing? I'm dancing. Oh, you're dancing. Lovely. Are you doing your princess dance? You're a ballerina. I love the little tummy pat, if you can see that. She just pats her tummy. So here's what's going on with the dollhouse lately. I think that we might need some more uh, seating 
possibly. And these little matching doll dresses are so cute. I don't think we're going to end up bringing their dolls with us, but they are so, so cute. Not bringing them with us on the trip, that is. But this one's so, so cute. So the dark-haired doll with the dark eyes is Isabella's doll, and the blonde-haired doll with the blue eyes is Natalie's doll. So this one's wearing Mulan right now, and Natalie's is wearing Rapunzel. It is a bit later, and I did some cleaning upstairs and changing sheets today and cleaned the ceiling fans upstairs and things like that. So now we're going to head out and go to Target real quick and try to pick up the things on our list that we need to grab. All right, and we are at Target. We're going to head in real quick. We are done at Target, $200, then a cart full later. <laughs> We got, we did get a lot of organization stuff though that had been on my list to get um, and I just needed a chance to get in there when I didn't have a cart full of food. Um, but we got a bunch of these bins for the girls' rooms. We got cookies for daddy, which the girls of course saw. We're not gonna open them and wait till daddy's home tonight. I got two of these baskets to organize my crafts. I'll show a full haul when we go home. But the Halloween costumes were buy one, get one free. I was not planning on buying them, but look what we found. Only one on the rack. <laughs> and it's a size two and it fits Natalie. Bella got Ariel. We're back home, we're gonna eat some quick lunch and then I will show you our quick Target haul as well. So this is our quick Target haul, which is basically consisting of a lot of different bins. I'll take everything out of the bags, but first of all, I got four of these, two more for Natalie's room and two for Isabella's room. And we're gonna use these to organize different toys and things. Isabella said she wants to put her ponies in one of these bins. And then Bella said that she wanted one of these big bins to put her big stuffed animals in, specifically Tigger. Tigger got his own bin. She's helping me with the Target haul. Then I got these two bins from like the basket section there. They're like milk crates made of seagrass. I actually was gonna get the darker ones, but then ended up deciding that these would go better with that little craft cabinet thing. I'm gonna use these two to organize the crafts in there. And then we got some different food things. Daddy had requested I pick up some Chips Ahoy for him. Isabella picked out these little bites. And I also need to get some Go-Gurt, which the kids were out of. Then also food-wise, we had to get cat food. So I guess that's kind of like food. We also picked up some Red Delicious apples. I got two more packages of these Perel sanitizing wipes to take with us. I ended up getting a travel um, little shaver thing. We needed just Q-tips just regularly here at the house. We are out of those. I got another one of these little bird cases. I think these are so cute. These are in the contact section at Target. And I picked up some more M&Ms for potty training. For whatever reason, these touchdown M&Ms were only... I think they were like $2.74 and the regular bag was like almost $5. I don't know why these are so cheap. I guess because they have football stuff on them and they're seasonal. But anyhow, we got that. And then the biggest deal was, we also got pull-ups for Natalie. The best deal of the trip was the costumes at Target were buy one, get one half off. So we were just cruising through the Halloween section, not intending to get really anything for Halloween. And they, I saw the buy one half off signs and I was like, oh, that's cool. Especially if you have multiple kids. And then we saw this on a rack, sitting by itself, all by its lonesome. It was a 2T and it's really, really cute. It's an Elsa dress and it was only $30, which for Elsa dresses is pretty good. It seems like it's pretty decent quality. So it's got the snowflake here and then the shimmery things there. So then we saw that and I tried it on over Natalie's clothes and it fit on her. It's even got this little like ribbon on the hem. So that fit on Natalie and she was just like bouncing up and down giddy excited. So then I said, well, Isabella can pick out one if Natalie's getting one because they're buy one, get one free. So Isabella picked out Ariel, which is great because she likes to dress up like Ariel. So these would just be like dress up costumes. And yeah, I don't know. We're doing good on costumes. <laughs> so I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but this week at Target, I'll try to post on Facebook. Costumes are buy one, get one free. So I literally paid $30 for both of these, which for dress up clothes is really good. So that is our Target haul. So we're going to finish lunch, then it's going to be rest time. You go. Natalie's arguing with me now that she can't wear this dress because it's broken, which she's the one that broke. There used to be like a little thing on here. Ow. That she pulled off in the... Alright, be Anna. And then the inside's coming apart. But she's just trying to wear the one that we got today. We have to save it for Halloween. You have this one to wear until then. Can we be um, Halloween flower? Yeah, you be Anna right now. That'll work. Who are you going to be right now? <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh dear, are you going to be mommy? Yeah! The kids are laying down for rest time and I'm going to try to do some editing and I'm finishing doing the ceiling fans, just cleaning those off and doing laundry. I'm doing sheets and towels and I need to do my laundry today. So I may do an updated video on like my updated cleaning schedule because things have moved ever so slightly since obviously our schedule has changed. But now I try to stack a lot of things on Thursday because that's kind of our lighter day schedule wise. So I try to get more done around the house. So I'm just trying to work on that stuff intermittently between doing other things. So I'm going to try to edit and keep all the rest of the stuff going as well. All right, so we are going to use some of these in Isabella's room to get this mess cleaned up around here. Well, She's picking up her... my room! <laughs> to my room. <laughs> She's getting her book cleaned up, and then we're going to get some of this mess sorted up, huh? Hey, I can finally stick my hand in. All right. So what are we putting in one of the small ones? We're putting ponies. Yeah. And then what's the other small one? What are we putting in the other small one? Teddies. Okay. And then what are you putting in the big one? Tigger. Tigger. All right. See, see if Tigger fits. Yay! He fits. He fits. All right. Let's see if it fits over here in this little thing. Sticks out a little bit. We can maybe put it in the bottom. Hmm. Just the top, please. Do you want your ponies and your pals pets in the same one or different ones? They want to be in what ones? Okay. So you organize these how you want them, okay? These are like like ones. Here, because scoot this I over here if you're gonna sit up here. Right where we need to be. Okay, we'll keep her out then. But where are you going to put all this stuff? Uh, biggest to smallest. Um, ha. You put them in there. And then keep, keep these on your bookshelf then, and then you'll be able to find stuff easier. Okay? Yeah. And now the small ones. And now the small ones. I think this is going to be just the right size for your ponies. Yep. For my ponies. It's right, the right size for my ponies. It like just fits, but she's never gonna be able to get them in like that. <laughs> oh dear. But you will help me, remember? Yeah. There you go. I think I will. You think you can get them in and out? Yeah. Okay. I can do two at a time. You can do two at a time? Yeah. Okay. I can do Two at a time. All right, that'll work. So then your ponies and palace pets will be right there then, okay? Yeah. All right. And then here are the ones we already have in Natalie's room. This one has all of the My First Dollhouse accessories in there. This one has all of the little rectangular shape. I can't get this open. Books, <laughs> yeah, books in there. And then we got two more for Natalie for room to grow because Natalie's birthday is in. November, so I'm hoping this will fit four across. All right, and that's what it looks like with four across in Natalie's bookcase, and they fit perfectly like that. So hers is like really deep, and it goes across because she's got a different one, but she's got all the bigger books down there, and then the rectangle ones right there, and then two empty bins for anticipated birthday and Christmas presents, so that should work. All right, Bella is coloring. Natalie is wandering around in her whimsical Wendy Elsa dress. This is our around the house Elsa. And Daddy's outside with the burn pile. And we're gonna work on our fall tree for the board. So this is attempt one at a tree. I think I'm gonna try to draw it again. What do you think? We need <laughs> leaves on it. We need leaves on it? Do you wanna make leaves? Yeah. All right, let me go get your safety scissors and you can make some leaves, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give this one to Bella to make and she's gonna cut leaves out of the red, yellow, and orange. You can make some leaves out of those. Yeah. And then you can, I'll get you a glue stick. You can glue it on your tree. Bella loves cutting at school. So you wanna to try to make some little things that look like leaves, okay? And then we're oh. gonna glue them onto your tree base. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> Good job, Natalie. We're gonna make multiple trees here. So this is the start of my tree. Well, apparently palm trees are much easier to cut out than regular trees. I am not doing so well right here. I'm yeah, not I'm doing great at all. This palm tree. This palm tree, you're going to make that tree? I mean, I know it's going to be covered with leaves, but still. 
You did it. She's down there doing the busy bags. She's getting excited because she put all the apples on the tree. I'm going to make another go. I just Googled paper tree. There's some like accelerated, accelerated level trees on here. But I think what I'm going to do after looking at some of these on Google is I'm just going to cut out like really thick rectangles for the branches. And then I'm going to try to uh, like just cut a rectangle here and then just cut out the pieces for the little branches. So we'll see if that works. So there's my tree base. I'm going to try to cut little I branches. <laughs> you are doing the busy bags onto my big branches. So Natalie's taking off at the second one because she wants to put leaves on that one. <laughs> Can you give her a couple of your leaves, sissy, for her to glue on there? And I'll give you... A little leaf pieces. Okay, thank you. The rectangle approach definitely worked out a lot better for me. <laughs> yes, you can be Sophia. All right, so I'm gonna put this tree up on the board and then put some leaves up there, and we'll put the girls' trees up there as well. We're gonna have crockpot chili for dinner tonight. Have that going today, so I'm gonna get that served up for dinner. So that's it for our vlog day today, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.